Google made a lot of iOS users very happy today when it announced that the Chrome browser was coming to the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, the Chrome browser has been very popular on the desktop. Google actually announced that it is the number one desktop browser now, I believe. And it's also very popular on Android 4.0 devices. But it's never been available to iOS users before until now. Now, the thing with the Chrome browser or with any uh, third-party browser on iOS is that Apple doesn't let it set, uh, doesn't let users set it to their default browser. The only default browser can be the Safari browser. And there's also a problem with uh, performance because uh, third-party apps and browsers don't get the same um, rendering engine access that the Safari browser has. But the thing with Chrome is that you do get the Chrome user interface and you get the cool syncing capabilities that are available on other platforms. So when you first open it up and you've got a new tab here, you've got um, some recently closed, access to recently closed tabs, recently visited tabs. You can access your favorites and your bookmarks. And the other really cool part is the ability to access the tabs that are open on other devices, which is really slick, uh, mm. makes it easy to move from your desktop to your mobile device. Uh, so here you can see I've got open tab on uh, my iPad. Uh, I've got some on my laptop up here. And then down here, I've got an Android device that has some open tabs. So those are all easily accessible uh, right from the uh, Chrome for iOS. You've got a tab interface here that is very similar to the Android version. So you can open up multiple tabs. Let's just do that. There we go. Uh, and sort through them there. You can swipe them away to close them, just as we saw on the Android version. It's a very similar user interface. If we load up a web page here, you can see we get a special uh, bar here for entering website data. And so even though the Chrome browser doesn't have the fastest JavaScript rendering engine, uh, it still is pretty snappy when it's loading pages. Uh, it loaded that up pretty quickly. I'm on a pretty fast Wi-Fi network here, uh, so that, that loaded up nicely. And you got tap to zoom. You got pinch to zoom, of course. Works pretty well. You can use it in landscape mode as well. So you have to reload our website in order for it to fit. Let's open up another tab here. check out the New York Times and so as you see here the Omni bar or the uh, address bar there uh, performs searches as you type so you can access your recently saved pages or recently visited pages your bookmarks uh, and then standard Google web searches uh, so that's all very cool and very useful very similar to the Chrome experience on a desktop computer or on other mobile devices So as you can see, everything feels pretty snappy, uh, which is a bit surprising. We really didn't expect performance to be this good on the third-party browser uh, without Apple's native rendering engine. So that's pretty good. Um, the other thing that you can do uh, with the, the Chrome browser is if we check out, um, you can open up in incognito tabs, which will not save any of your browsing history, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have an option to search within the page. You can email the page. You can choose to have the desktop site displayed if you're viewing a mobile site. Uh, so a couple other things. That's all very similar, very um, familiar to us since we saw those on the Android version. Now, if we take a look at the iPad, the iPad version uh, is very similar as well. This looks more like a desktop, uh, and it looks like the Android tablet version for that matter. Again, you got your access to your recently closed tabs, recently visited tabs, your bookmarks, and your other devices. You can see what I've got open on my iPhone right there. If you tap that, it'll open up. This is an iPad 1, uh, so it's pretty old uh, by these day standards, but as you can see, it still loads up the page pretty well, uh, pretty quickly. Just the scrolling isn't quite as fast or as smooth on newer devices, uh, and pinch to zoom is definitely not nearly as smooth as it could be. Um, but you get an idea of what the UI looks like here on the tablet. Again, um, let's open up a couple tabs here. You've got the new tab interface here, and you can move tabs around. So you can reorder them quickly and easily. So there you go. So that's a quick look at the new Google Chrome browser for iOS devices, the iPhone, the iPad, and it's also available on the iPod Touch. Uh, it's a really great browser as far as the syncing capabilities go. That's really the strong suit with Chrome. 
uh, because you can access all of your tabs that are open on your desktop computer on your mobile device without any effort, which is very cool. Uh, the UI is really nice. It's really snappy as well. Um, but of course, since this is iOS, you cannot set the Chrome browser as your default browser, which is a little disappointing and it makes it, for some people, makes it difficult to make that uh, their daily use uh, or their uh, everyday browser. But for now, that's a quick look at Chrome for iOS. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.